Now, I'm gonna show you how to get out of a pinch. Let's say you have a piece of duct and uh, you got your plenum or your riser pipe running and you've uh, come to the point where you forgot to order a four inch, uh, four inch start collar or any size that you're using, you forgot to order a start collar. So you're stuck out there with, with no, you'll, no material that you can use to install and you're gonna have to go ahead and go home. Well, not so much. If you buy yourself a pair of uh, dovetail or what they call V-notchers, then um, you can get yourself out of a pinch pretty quick. And um, if they get you out of a pinch two or three times, really, you're gonna find yourself that you, uh, you've actually paid for the tool. So these are a Malco uh, V-notch, and what they are is they're three quarter inch deep and um, they, they just take a V notch out of the you metal. You got your four inch pipe and you can't put it in because you don't have a star collar, you don't have a takeoff, you don't have what you need. And with this, your pipe, if you set it in there, it's just gonna slide in and out. You don't wanna leave it like that. So that's where these V notchers come in and they'll definitely pay for themselves rather quickly. Um, and what you're gonna do really is just basically put it on the end of this pipe like so and you're just gonna V notch to where you have a dovetail. That's another trick of the trade. Um, and what you wanna do is get it all dovetailed across like that. Um, if you're really, really desperate and let's say you don't have a pair of V notchers um, I, don't, I didn't tell you this, but another way to do it is just eyeball one inch or mark one inch all the way around. And what you can do is just work your pipe all the way around with your pair of snips like so. And as you can see, the V-notchers are a lot faster than using snips. So I'm going to go ahead and take these, these uh, pieces that I have cut. And that one with the seams, the real hard one, of course, always to get over. So I almost always just leave that flat and I'll determine on where the air screen is coming. If it's coming up through this way, then I'll go ahead and put the seam on the top. That way, if it's hanging through the pipe, it doesn't matter. So uh, rule of thumb, always uh, about every fourth, fourth one needs to be bent over. I mean, it's not, it's not real hard. You can go ahead and that will get you to a point where you have so it dovetailed, it's stopped from sliding in, and if you can get on the inside of the pipe, you can go ahead and uh, start bending these over on the inside, run yourself a little, a couple screws in there, and uh, you know what, pretty much voila, you run your screws in these dovetails right here on the outside, pookie it up around the seam, and um, you've got yourself uh, out of a pinch.